designed by him and uh, he sent us this awesome care package can't wait to get these all in frames and get them up on our wall thank you so much Tracy Lee Berman I, I can't thank you enough this is just it's amazing it's awesome I, I'm mind blown man it really means a lot to us it made our whole day to get this in the mail um, yeah, thanks, man. And props on your art. Badass art. I really, really dig it. Really dig the style, the designs. I dig the skull with the palette leaf. I love the little dinosaur guy with the flower. Kind of reminds me of one of my crocs. Awesome. This is mine. Just for me. All That's by just, mine. Yep. And he also made me this one. Yep. Awesome embroidery work, cards, postcards. My God, it's so intense. All the pretty detail colors in it. Love it. Awesome. Thanks again, Tracy Lee. Thanks, Tracy. We're going to go ahead and uh, get started on uh, this next section. Gotta let George Life do this. So, gotta show on and pay respect. And we'll pause it. Alright. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, get started on uh, connecting the, the head of the skull and the donut hole together and turning it into an actual pipe today. Um, on the next video, we'll do the teeth and um, it'll be wrapped up pretty much. Um, I've been looking forward to this part because this. this this section and this step takes more of an intricate weld than you see me doing the other uh, donut hole to the mouthpiece, you know, where I just gathered it back. Um, this section where we attach the donut hole to the skull, obviously I just can't gather and glob all that skull back to shit um, or to deform all my work. So it requires uh, a different type of weld with the blow tube and we're going to do that today um, just to kind of give you guys an idea of how some of these more uh, Tricky welds are done in weird spots you see on rigs or pipes or other stuff like that. This is pretty much how that these welds are done. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Exactly where it was last time with that little tailing we pulled off on the other side of the hole. Um, we're going to have to remove that first off. I like that track from George Life. Like I said, make sure you find him on Pandora. Uh, find him on Facebook too, you know. Look for George Life Music. GeorgeLife.com. Uh, GeorgeLife.com. Um, he's also got a new uh, line of gear coming out. Badass gear. Make sure you check it out. It's called uh, They're Here Gear. Um, and he, he does some badass work. And, you know, just all around amazing artist. Um, everything he puts his mind to seems to just kill. There's you. Yeah, thank you so 
much for all the all the freebies and our jackets and our sweatshirts. What we're doing now is just cleaning this up where we put off all that extra. Same thing gathering it. I don't want to really take away from it too much, so it's just more of a gathering and picking it back up right here at the end. Make sure it's nice and even. We're going to take a blow tube, touch it at the end. This way I can get a better point of reference when I pop it. parties in a couple hours and I had an order to get kicked out before that and I wanted to get this video shot and show love to George Life and Tracy Lee Furman and before I got going on the birthday party. And now same thing as that other one um, like I was telling you before it's all about my size. I like making sure they're all the same size. So we'll use this tool that I, I use as a gauge for my, most of my welds to make sure it fits in there nice and smooth and round. Now that's prepped up and it's ready to go pretty much. Now we'll take it, put it back in. Now we'll take this bad boy out. And we've got to work with it for a minute. Kind of stoked. This one, same thing. I'll get it hot for a second. All right, everybody, sorry, we uh, ran out of battery on the camera, so there was a glitch there for a second, but we're going to start off right where I was, I was just heating up the skull, so we're going to get back to that real quick. Hopefully I figured out how to merge the two videos, if not, you're seeing this in like part A and part B, but hopefully I figured out how to merge the two videos. I'm not too computer savvy, I spend all my hours out here, so all this computer shit's just... Honestly, driving me nuts. I don't even have a cell phone. I don't own a cell phone. Wife does. I don't. Alright. Like I said, that's just more to... So I could pinpoint the actual spot that I wanted it. So that that blow tube helps the most with it. Um, so I'm not just trying to blow straight off of my tube and figure out exactly where it's at. It helps you gauge that better. And it's critical for doing these, wheel, these welds. And right now that we got that pretty close to where we want it, we make sure we got it gauged the right size. Just like that. Alright, now we're going to combine the two. Actually, let's get this on there first. Let's go this one I'm going to have facing my typical donut hole. I'm be facing down, same thing. Get them nice and gooey. Not too gooey because I don't want to screw up my sizes. Put them on there. Not smash hard, but just get it on there. I let it cool off for a second. You know, I don't need two blow tubes. This is what I have at this point. 
the, I'm going to tear out the one below the skull. Same thing, though, I've been working it, so I'm not going to put it right on the project. I'll just put it up down below. I'm trying to use a more gentle flame. doing our well. Now the way I do my well is I hit one section until basically those two pieces get gooey and, and start to merge together. And then I gotta blow it out just like we did with the donut hole and relax it. And blow it out and relax it so it it turns into one. Instead of two pieces it's one piece of glass. I'm gonna get that nice and hot right here across the top. A lot, of, a lot of blowers will use a bridge at this point, but the way I've learned to work my sections, I generally usually don't need it on smaller pieces. I just, you know, gently work my weld all the way around, so the entire piece in that section that I'm fusing isn't all gooey and hot at once. What we did is we blew that out, raised it up a little bit, relax it back down. I'm going to do the same thing again. Go back to that down. Now, the technique I use, like I said, a lot of these guys use a bridge, and that's, you know, the general, average, you know, typical way that you should do it. Like I said, most of the secrets I know though, just shortcuts I've learned over the years. But now is what I'm going to do is a technique I call chasing the flame. The flame obviously is rolling over this way, so instead of trying to heat up this side and weld this side, it's already getting a little bit hot up right in this section from chasing from that flame hitting past where I was already welding. So I I chase it. I just it's already getting primed and nice and hot for me. So stick to it right there. And, Work that well. Bubble that a little bit, bring it back down. Pull it back out. Now, so you can see that's still kind of toasty right there and hot, and I don't want, like I said, I don't want to have to use a bridge. I'm going to let that cool right here and let this be the next toasty spot and once again we'll chase the flame. It just saves you from having to do a lot of bridge work and for uh, people out there that don't know what I mean by bridge, it's basically that I would have normally taken a piece of glass from here and melded it to here. So this section I'm working can't move. It has nowhere to go. It's all bridged into place. And then after you're done doing the bridge, or done doing your weld, you know, you'd let it heat back up and then remove your bridge. Um, just a shortcut, like I said. A lot of the shit you see me do, um, I'm all self-taught, so it's, chances are it's a, a lot fucking different than other shit you've seen done. And I'm cool with that. I, I dig it. I dig my techniques. You know, it's more than one way to skin a cat, as the saying goes. Now we're gonna let that cool off right there for a second. Just two seconds though.
right, the only section we have left is this side right here, and we'll be back to the top where we started. So we're gonna let that cool for just a second. I don't like to get that red one. You know, like I said, I don't want it to clap. So let that cool for just a second. And we'll work this side. off and we'll do the teeth and it'll be all done. So, rah, and we'll remove the little bit of scorching and clean these horns up a little bit. So, thanks for watching everybody. Once again, uh, I did this uh, based on uh, Tracy Lee Furman's. Uh, really, he really likes these and he's always wanted to know how they were made. So, uh, we're kicking this bad boy out as our uh, sample piece to show you guys. This is uh, one of my favorite pieces to do and it's real popular with the shops. Uh, but thanks again everybody, much love.